to feel a little more jolly around here. So let's take a trip up to Williamsburg where Bush Gardens is getting ready to open Christmas Town. Yes, indeed. Uh, News 3's Penny Commit has been there all morning. Uh, more than a thousand Christmas trees. Are they all real, Penny? Yes, a thousand Christmas trees and they're all real. And what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to talk about how they even put all of this together. I mean, imagine decorating a thousand trees. I can barely decorate my one. So we've got our glasses, we've got our gloves, and I've got two helpers here. We've got Jonathan and Matthew. Now talk to me a little bit about how you perfectly wrap a Christmas tree. You guys make these look so good. Absolutely. So there's many different ways to do it. What we go for is fullness, right? So we try to st start in at the trunk. Okay. So you have your light, you find your trunk, you find your empty branch, and then you just sort of S your way down the length of the branch. Okay. And when you get to the tip, you just sort of bend the light and wrap it back around opposite direction. So you're just encapsulating the entire branch. So you wrap all the way to the end. Yep. And then all the way back. Yep, all the way out. Yep. Oh gosh, and I think I'm not doing back. a very there it good is. job. Just nope, you're perfect. Okay. Just like that. And now we're back okay, here. Okay, now all the way back. And you want to get back into the trunk, and then you just work, work work your way down to the next empty branch. And you just keep going in and out, in and out, and that's how you get the robust fullness that you see throughout the park. This is kind of tough. How do you guys <laughs> do this? I mean, a thousand trees. You do this for all a thousand trees? We do. Um, all of our trees are wrapped this way. This is actually an entire park initiative. It really does take every employee who works in the park, uh, from the folks in the back uh, administration offices, uh, folks, you know, finance, marketing, um, our uh, grounds teams, all of our frontline ambassadors, everyone that comes out to help bring this together. It is a true team effort to make Christmas Town fly. That's really neat that you guys all come together like that. And you only have like three weeks between Hollow Scream and Christmas Town. How do you do it? Well, we uh, we start early, <laughs> as best as we're able to. Um, we start uh, uh, getting trees installed in the park uh, in some of the the less seen areas during Halloween. Uh, that way, we're able to wrap them and get them ready to go. And then you just start to slowly see a little bit more Christmas peek in as you get to the end of the Halloween season. But overlapping is the easiest way to do it, um, and having everyone involved really does make it go a lot faster. Okay, about how many lights do you think you need on each tree? Because I mean, when you go all the way to the end yep. and then all the way back to the middle of the trunk. You use a lot of the strands. You absolutely do. Depending on the size of the tree, you can go anywhere from eight strands up to 15 strands. And these are uh, approximately 50, 75 lights per strand. All right, well, I'm gonna leave this to the experts. This is really <laughs> tough. And we're actually wearing glasses, I was told, because pines have flown into people's eyes. Before. Well, they could, they could absolutely. <laughs> we just wanna prevent anything from happening. So gloves help keep your hands safe. The glasses help keep your eyes safe. Okay, so maybe get the gloves, get the glasses. This is a foolproof method. I mean, you guys, the trees look gorgeous out here 1,000 trees 10 million lights this is something we don't want to miss you absolutely. Do, absolutely don't want to miss it well we have more about Christmas town coming up all morning so stick with us we're also going to talk about some ways you can see Santa Claus this mm -hmm. year so much coming to Christmas town but for now I'll send it back to you guys